Hi. Um, I don't. I don't really even know what to. How to begin? I'm sure that you can tell from the video title that it's a. It's a rough. It's a rough day. It was a rough night last night. Today is um, February twenty seventh, two thousand nineteen. And uh, last night, when I was about to go to bed, checking on the two, the two babies, and Kadra was no longer with us. I've always liked the phrase, um, born into eternity. I think that's a better way to talk about someone's passing. And I guess, uh, you know, it hit me. Do you say born into an eternity, or do you say hatched into eternity for a ball python? And that's probably just what I do when I grieve, is try to crack a joke. Because that's how I deal with it. When it comes to dealing with grief, I think we all deal with it in our own personal way. I've never judged anybody how they t decide to grieve. We all do it differently. It's your own personal choice. And I don't really feel like making this video, this update, but I think that it's the, I think it's what I should do out of respect for her, and out of respect, of course, for those who have been watching the Parthenogenesis series and were hoping for an update. And I had planned on making one. I think I owe you guys an apology because someone had asked about an update, and I had not gotten to one. I had said that there was one coming in the fall. We do still certainly have Magnus here, and Magnus is doing quite healthy. Everything seems quite normal. Nice little almost two-year-old ball python, ready for action, eating, shedding, pooping. So, sorry bud, but there is that, and uh, couldn't love the guy more. An update was something I wanted to do, but around June, I had noticed that Kadra was looking different. And, you know, I feel some guilt in not noticing it earlier, but it just wasn't as apparent to me until June. In June, I was already thinking about trying to make an update, but that's when I noticed that uh, she was looking thicker down where her bowels would be. So... I thought about it a bit more and I realized, yeah, you know, there's been a couple times now where Magnus has left a, a gift for me, that Magnus had passed some feces and that Kadra hadn't. And they weren't always on the same schedule anyway, but usually around the time Magnus does, well, that'd be a time to also check and see on Kadra, did she have something for me to pick up and clean out of that cage, or vice versa. And I wasn't seeing any from Kadra. And I thought more about it, and like, it had been two different times now, and still Kadra hadn't passed anything. So I, I realized maybe she was constipated, but I gave it more time. And I was reading things about snake, and specifically python constipation, and there were some possible solutions. I thought I'd give it a bit more time, but by the time I got around October, um, you know, I certainly had given a few different warm baths. I think though these are solutions for more when it's normal constipation. I don't think it was normal with Kadra, but I don't know for sure. But either way, the warm baths were not encouraging any type of bowel movement. I reached out to some people I know who also breed ball pythons, have ball pythons, just to see what kind of tips I could get, talk to people on message boards. Eventually, I got to the point where I tried to give some uh, oil, some olive oil, to her orally. I didn't really want to film any of this, but that wasn't that fun of an experience. No harm to her, but I'm sure a bit of stress. But the oil did nothing. And that's meant to just kind of soften what's in there and encourage movement of it. 
nothing worked. So I wanted to make an update. I'm sorry that I didn't, but I wanted to have some sort of good news. I wanted the update instead to be, hey, let me tell you this constipation story, but everything worked out fine. Here's two healthy snakes. And instead, things were just not getting better. And I also wanted to, there to be at least, you know, some sort of solution or closure. I didn't want to leave with a cliffhanger. I don't think that'd be nice to do either. So if I had made a video about the problems we were having and then nothing for a while, that would have left some people really wondering. You can see that really the thickness and the constipation, it starts where the abnormality was in her fusing together on the underside. This definitely leads me to, to have some confidence that this was probably an internal problem that was, was happening. It's not just some random constipation that caused this, and I'm sure the constipation is related to her death. Now, what's going on inside that's wrong, I don't really know, and it'd just be pure speculation. Maybe something to do with the digestion was working fine, but was weak anyway, and perhaps there was a rip or a tear, perhaps muscles didn't develop properly in the right way to keep things going, perhaps there was some type of blood not getting where it needed to get to and that caused a lack of digestion. I don't really know. But I do know that here's where the constipation starts, or at least seems to, and here's where the abnormality is in how she fused together when she was in the egg anyway. But we still have Magnus, and he's a cool little dude. He misses his sister, but he also is a bit of a loner anyway. I can't say when, but there will be more updates in the future. I hope they are of a much more enjoyable tone than this one. In the meantime, I am preserving Kadra's body. Perhaps it's of scientific value. Sorry that um, this is not the most enjoyable video to watch, but thanks for checking it out. It was great to know Kadra. For the time that I could. Parthenogenesis is amazing, and it's also not recommended. See you in the future.